Hi everyone, my name is Bindu. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to talk about summarize function in Power BI. Before going into how to use the summarize function in Power BI, let's first understand what this is used for. This summarize function is used to summarize the data into a table. So using this summarize function, you will be creating a new table in Power BI. Remember, you cannot create measures using this summarize function. You need to create a new table if you have to use the summarize function. So that's the first thing to remember. You will be summarizing the data into a new table. That is what the summarize function is used for. What do you mean by summarizing the data? Summarizing the data means grouping the data based on a criteria. If you know, if you are familiar with SQL Server, it's just like using group by clause. Um, so for this summarize function, you'll be sending some uh, parameters. So let's understand the summarize function based on those parameters. Okay. So now if, if you look at the report that I'm showing on the screen, it has um, two data sets, calendar and sheet one. Uh, let's see what data we have. So here we have um, product and let's say I want to get some, let's say I want to get the uh, total profit for that product by year based on, based on year. Okay. That's what my requirement is. We want to group by product and year. The function that should come to your mind is summarize because just blindly remember if, if you have to group by something, if you have to group if you have to group the records by certain columns, just blindly remember you need to use summarize function in DAX. Okay. So now to use summarize function, I cannot just, I cannot uh, create measures. I cannot use this new measure, quick measure here. I need to create a new table. So for that, you need to uh, go into this modeling tab and from here you create a new table. Okay. You are creating a new table here. So I'm naming this table as summarizing table example. Okay. Because it's a summarize function, we started with summarize. Okay. And summarize, I want to summarize the table. The table which I want to summarize here is sheet one. So it will be sheet one. Okay. And then after that, after giving the table name, the next thing you need to understand is you need to group by, you need to get the group by columns, by which columns you want to group the data. So I want to group by product and I want to group by year. Where is year? group by year and now you want to give the alias to the uh, uh, to the criteria okay so um, to you want to give the alias to the final column the column that you want to the, the column which gives you the sum or count by grouping these two columns product and year so let's say um, so this is profit by product and year i'm just naming i'm just naming the um, new column with this name okay and i want to give the expression for that so sum of profit is my profit sum of profit okay this is my so now my new table is created here so so this one, I don't want to summarize this because this is a year. I don't summarize. Saving this. Now I got profit by year here. I'm just, I'm just deleting this one. I don't want to. This is a simple example I showed you how to use how to use a, a summarize function. There are a multiple ways you can get this data. So no controversies over there. But 
in this example in this video i want to show you i wanted to show you how you use summarize function to group the data okay i hope this is clear now so i'm summarizing the whole video now so using the summarize function you summarize the data you group the data based on a column criteria okay i will include this uh, power bi file in the description box below you can download this report and you can uh, try to group it using country and you can you can try to uh, you can try grouping it using country and instead of profit um, try checking the number of products sold or try different things and um, and practice the summarize function I hope this is useful. Thank you and uh, we'll meet you in the next video.